Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about movies, how about clicking that subscribe button? So I did an Instagram poll a few days ago asking you what my next ranking video should be. And as you can tell by the title, the 90s chick flick is the one that won. So this is what I consider to be the top 10 90s chick flicks. <laughs> to you guys as yesterday when I was about to edit this video my SD card decided to format and erase all my things so the majority of the movies on my list are 1999 because that year had awesome movies so we're gonna go ahead and start this off with number 10 which would be 1996's William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet um I think this adaption of Romeo and Juliet into a more modern day deal with well, modern day 90s feel but it was still you know within that time era was done really good i truly truly enjoyed it uh it just starred claire danes and leonardo dicaprio i feel like if you're not really full on into the shakespearean plays given you know the dialect that they do use then i feel like you should give this particular version a shot if you haven't yet because like i said it's more of a modern day feel to it this version we do have them using some really really good looking guns instead of you know the swords Let's move on to number nine would be my first 1999 movie she's all that of course here we do follow laney which is played by rachel lee cook uh freddie prince jr we also stars the late paul walker basically the movie is about trying to make the dorky unpopular girl which is played by laney she was an artistic student and of course in nowadays being artistic and like vegan and you know caring about the environment and all that it's like cool nowadays honestly this really brought me back to 21 jump street you know what I totally know the cause. Glee. Unfortunately, in the 90s, being all that was not cool. Of course, we're going to make the unpopular girl popular, become prom queen. I was a bet. A bet. Just stupid bet. Number eight. And that would be my only early 90s movie, the be 1990s Pretty Woman. This one starts Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. This one is about a prostitute and a rich businessman who hires prostitute for the weekend and then ends up hiring her for the whole weekend and then of course they fall madly in love and he rescues her from a life of prostitution i don't find it to be as cheesy i would say as a lot of these other movies it is more on a more mature level compared to uh, pretty much everything else on my list is about like high school I, I believe everything else on my list are just like high school movies and technically this is the only non high school uh film number seven it will be another 1999 movie never been kissed starring uh drew barrymore who plays josie who is a journalist and she's already pretty much a, a dorky like uh an adult and she gets sent to go undercover i can't remember exactly why she was sent undercover to be honest with you but basically she got sent back to high school or she sent herself back to high school to do a story but now we're led to believe that she is this 17 year old so Josie was nerdy in high school when it was her time and she was nerdy in high school when she went back there's the love sparkle between her and the very hot teacher and did anybody have a very hot teacher you guys I had one very very hot teacher was in junior high mr. green oh my god he was so good looking you guys he had Oh, he had the nicest bum. He had a tongue ring. Oh, the only hot teacher that I ever had. Concept of the movie's title is that she's never really been kissed. Like she has kissed basically all the frogs, but she hasn't really had that like passionate like sparkle kiss the one kiss she hasn't found her prince charming so moving on to number six and honestly i'm starting to wonder if this is the reason why my sd card coincidentally decided to format because i originally didn't have this movie on my list because i wasn't 100 sure if it was considered a chick flick but after i was like looking at my list i was like you know what i really want this movie in here um so originally i did have uh the runaway bride which also had uh julia roberts and richard Gere, and i guess you could say that's like an honorable mention so what took its place was 1996 the craft and you can let me know down below if it's considered a chick flick or not i mean obviously i'm incorporating here as a chick flick and i feel like it's a perfect chick flick to be honest with you so the craft is about four high school catholics school witches and basically starts off with three which were already a group they're kind of like into like small time witchcraft because they really don't have the necessary power to invoke 
and if you've seen the movie you know we got in both the the four corners um the power within them until sarah comes around um she's a natural witch she's a good witch again i know that i said i'm not into horror movie i don't really consider this a horror movie to be honest with you there was something scary about it so i just want to tell you that but if you have seen the crap and you really did enjoy who else and don't lie we're trying the whole I'm not gonna lie you guys because my sister my cousin myself we were always doing that i think i was usually the one on the floor because i was the lightest one and we we're like there trying to like levitate me up whatever y'all know y'all did it too moving on to number five which would be 1999's cruel intentions and am i fucking recording dude you guys i'm like so fucking blind okay see it <laughs> that's how close i have to get don't judge me so i actually didn't know that this um movie until recently that it was actually based off of an 18th century french novel but the movie is about some like cynical like over uh privileged uh prep students um who are played by sarah michelle gell and ryan philippi um I'm, i i may be saying his name wrong but yeah no like i'm bad with that so this one is actually i would say the darkest and cruelest and naughtiest movie on my list if you have not seen cruel intentions kind of think of gossip girl but the maturity in cruel intentions i think is a little bit higher than what they are over here in gossip girl and it's not as cheesy or corny as the other high school um movies on my list but moving on to number four which is another say it with me 1999 film jawbreaker quite honestly i'm shocked that this movie is not on a lot of other 90s teen movie list to be honest with you um if anything it's always like an honorable mention but i really really enjoy it um it is about a group of friends who kidnap um, one of their close friends liz on her birthday they make it seem like they're kidnapping her to take her uh to to breakfast and they end up uh, stuffing a jawbreaker but you know big ass jawbreaker they didn't uh quite think this through because you know obviously on the way over there she died but instead of going to the police and you know putting this as what it is of uh, accident these uh teenagers decide no we're gonna make this seem like something else we're gonna plant the body like it's more of a sexual thing that happened like, unfortunately while they were planting the body and positioning her and like tampering with evidence goody to shoe fern mayo the high school dork reject comes stumbling into the house they basically tell her we're gonna make you into the next list but all you have to do is just shh. so let's go ahead and move on to number three which would be 1998's can't hardly wait we were at a graduating party we got artistic preston who is in the hope of wooing uh amanda who is the high school beauty who's played by jennifer love hewitt we also follow dorky william who schemes to get back at the jock at the meathead uh mike who's played by peter faselli i know i can't say anything right but he is carlisle from twilight coming in, in second place would be 1995's clueless uh, now this one is loosely based off of jane austen's emma and honestly after uh listening to the book and seeing emma the the, the movie uh the, well the new adapted movie that came out um this well this past year no this year but in a minute i actually see it and honestly i feel i really do feel that Cher would love that comparison to her and a jane austen emma but this movie also does star the late britney murphy basically Cher decides to take ty under her wing and kind of like show her the ropes and kind of you know make her into something and then of course she kind of goes rogue they always go rogue don't they it's so funny i mean it's clueless i don't really think like i need to get into it rolling with the homies but coming in in first place which is my absolutely favorite movie honestly this is one of my favorite movies of all time did you guys by any chance guess this movie would be number one i mean honestly you had to ha at least guess it was going to be on the list but say it with me guys 1999's 10 things i hate about you currently this movie is on disney plus oh clueless is currently on netflix as well we have the late heath ledger i adore this movie and 10 things is also like a few others on my list and it's based off of a play this one particularly is based off of the taming of the shrew it's about kat and bianca two sisters kat is the very smart independent uh school focused girl bianca is just like oh my god i want this and i want that cares about popularity basically one of the popular guys wants to take 
Bianca out on a date. But unfortunately for him and basically for any guy who wants to date her, uh, the dad has come up with a new rule. Until Kat decides to date, Bianca cannot date either. Though so there's kind of like a whole like triangle or square. I don't know, you guys, octagon kind of going on because there's a lot of we're playing chess i guess i don't know you guys i don't even know where to go with it because there's just a lot of things going on on the reasons we got joseph gordon levitt who also wants to date bianca uh but knows of the situation so they kind of find heath ledger to date we'll try to woo cat but of course we gotta get him to get paid to be able to do it so we'll enter joey because he's the model and has the money and he also wants to date bianca kind of have all these little pawns kind of going and of course we got patrick who ends up falling actually for cat but she finds out that he was being paid you know to take her out so if you have not seen 10 things i hate about you like why have you not seen 10 things i hate about you so this is it you guys this is my list this is what i consider to be the top 10 90s chick flicks um obviously my list is not the right list it's just my list my own personal opinions so go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you consider to be the best 90s chick flick um i do have a 2000s chick flick coming as well i'm not exactly sure when Sooner rather than later, you know, I do have this video coming up. That is all I have for you guys for today. Don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concession. Bye!